Hey guys, so I'm back in the garage and this little video clip here, I'm going to be showing you guys how to take shells, in this case this is mother of pearl, and make a fishing lure out of it. So it's a pretty simple step. I uh, started with a hacksaw, uh, got a few cuts, that's taken a little longer than I want, so I'm going to speed it up with a bandsaw, the grinder, drill press here. But uh, you can do it by hand if you want, it's just a little extra work. And when you want to get done and finish, uh, what I did was I sanded this top coat off, you'll get like a black out the skin. Just sand it, wet sand it down, I did I think a, it was a 200 grit, and then a 2000 to kind of polish and smooth it up a little. And once I'm done, I'll polish it, sand it down. And the other thing I want to get into, why Mother of Pearl? Mother of Pearl is pretty much already, it's naturally iridescent. This one's a white one, comes in all different colors. Purple, green, blue. I got some purple. Uh, I got a couple purple chips here in my pocket also. So, you know, I'll do some photos. This one, these are very iridescent. So, I'll do a couple photos of these at the end. And I'll probably make something out of these one day. So, it, it comes in all different colors. And while I'm doing the white one, it's extremely thick. And it looks like all the shad that all the skipjack and the things I'm fishing for feed on. So, there's a lot of shad in the water. And I'm going to try and mimic some shad with this shell right here. So I'm going to get started, get cut and drill, let's see what I can do. Okay, so, so right here I sharpied it out, you know, I'm going to go around with these lines and I went with the uh, a flat spot and it's going to spoon and scoop up a little so I'll get that, uh, that rocking that I'm looking for. So I'm going to get cut in here, turn this on, and here's, here's some of those chips that I was using, so I'll show those later. Okay, so it looks pretty good. You know, you can see how it's really thick right here. There's a, a couple thin spots, not a big deal. Pretty stout. Uh, I'm gonna reinforce it with a wire. So grind it down, get drilled. All right, I'm gonna grind the edges off. Let's get going. All right, so I got the grinding down. I'm gonna do some drilling. I've never drilled this. I just uh, hope I don't break it. Okay guys, so here's the lure and some action. Uh, it does pretty good, it's got a little wobble to it, but it's not that bad. Let's see it get right up here. It's really lightweight, so. So here's the lure in action. It has a nice little wobble to it. And once it's going, it does pretty good. It's not too bad. Hey, so I made it out here to the pond, um, out here casting in some clear water, doing some test runs. The lure turned out really well. The performance on it's what I'm looking for. I got some nice flutters to it, a few spins, 
and it's doing pretty good. I feel I'm gonna catch a lot of fish with it. So I'll probably make a few more, pretty similar, maybe a couple change up on the vintage style here. Uh, spoons have been catching fish for decades, centuries. You know, everybody's been using them, catching all, all types of fish, tons of fish, lots of them. So hopefully these tips, tricks, this idea, and things like that kind of help you guys be a little creative, make your own lures, catch some fish, have some fun. So I think it's gonna work for me. I'll do a few videos uh, when I take this out catch some fish mostly skipjacks my target species with this lure so we'll see how that goes so in the meantime guys get out there on the water have fun fishing